brought some money out, I be flexing when I'm drunk and shit. These bitches mad at me, they throw their phone, they be like, fuck this Smoking shit. big granddaddy, little phone, them overstuff my blood and shit. Hey man, y'all already know what's going on. We in the building, man. As soon as y'all get in here, smash the like button. Say what number y'all live. Drop location so we can shout out to where everybody from. We got three topics today. The first topic we talking about Zoo, THL Bezu and Lil Dirk. Second topic we talking about uh, King Von Brother and Chief Keith. Third topic we talking about Boss Top. So we gonna start off with the first topic. You know, everybody knows there's been rumors of, uh, going around the zoo being kicked out of OTF. So, Zoo is basically responding to the rumors. Zoo ended up hopping on his IG and basically said, like, don't believe the rumors. You know, that shit fake news and all this shit and shit like that. The reason that people been saying that Zoo ass got kicked out of OTF because, you know, Dirk would be posting cryptic messages on his story and Zoo damn near post some cryptic messages back. Y'all remember a little while back, like probably like a few weeks, probably all, probably a few weeks to a month ago, Dirk was posting some cryptic shit on his shit. Like, yeah, quit sneak this and all this shit. God damn it. Uh, Zoo ended up posting some shit on his shit with the Black Youngster song playing in the background talking about uh, what Youngster say in the song. He say, he say, I done let out shots for other niggas cause other niggas was scared. Y'all remember uh, Youngster was dissing Dolphin that shit on the I'm Assuming shit. You know, I actually like that song. But the whole time, you know, Zoo posted some shit with that shit playing in the background. And then it was a whole nother incident with Zoo damn that posted some shit like saying how he feel like a sacrificial lamb and all this shit. You know, brothers, we supposed to talk and all this shit. And then I think Dirk posted some other shit too, where he, where he was like, you uh, call my phone instead of hopping on social media saying shit, just call my phone and all this shit. So it's like you know, due to them little back and forths, you know, on both of them stories, it started being speculated that Zoo end up, you know, along with Zoo being back in Chicago and you ain't seen them around Dirk for a while, like phone them ass air other. Every time the nigga Zoo post as a recent, his ass in the rack, you know. So along with all that shit mixed together, got people feeling like, you know, there's some shit going on between Dirk and Zoo. Like, Dirk done sent his ass packing type shit. Like, yo ass need to move around. Yo ass got all this shit going on. This right on the brink of the, uh, the snitch rumors that came out about Zoo. Like, his paperwork... Um, not the not the Atlanta shit where Zoo Vaughn and Dirk all them you know they got their shit sealed. Some shit with Zoo by himself, like some old nine shit, like some murder shit. Like he ended up, you know, uh, speaking on a few people, and a lot of people was like, "Man, Zoo ass, he said too much and shit like that." And you know, and then Zoo ass is ass always, uh, you know, entertaining the trolls, you know, he always entertaining bullshit. So all this shit mixed together due to the fact that Zoo ass dumped ass back in a rat. A lot of people feel like Dirk sent his ass packing and you know, and then, you know, go ahead, add THL Law into the, to the mix. You know, THL Law, as a recent, been sending shots at Dirk. So Zoo back in the rat, Dirk making cryptic messages on his story. Zoo making cryptic messages on his story. Law is sneak dissing Dirk. So all this shit, you know, got people feeling like, you know, Dirk's and Zoo ass packing. So whole time, you know, Zoo end up hopping up on his shit and he say, that shit fake news, don't believe that shit. And then, you know, the music that he got playing in the background is a song by Lil Dirk called Brothers and shit like that. And whole time, you know, a lot of my yeah, so whole time, a lot of motherfuckers feel like it's something to that shit. And, you know, at the end of the day, man, you know, 
you know, like it's you, like that shit not to be debated. That shit not to be disputed. It's some shit going on between Dirk and Zoo, you know, and you know, just off the fact that Zoo has back in the rack and his right hand man Law is sending shots at Lil Dirk, you know, calling, you know, saying that Dirk ass harboring rats and shit like that with the whole nine situation. Then you got Buka on, you know, which is Dirk right hand man saying like all them niggas speaking on nine they some whole ass niggas so that's him he basically responding to law and shit so basically with this shit going on it's like you know like zoo ass like i ain't gonna lie zoo be on some shit where he want to talk his shit but then he'll come back and be like and post some shit with Dirk song playing in the background, talking about how much he love his brothers and shit. And it's like, I ain't gonna lie, bro, that's some narcissistic shit. Like, that's like when a dude beat up his bitch and then wanna come back and be like, I'm sorry, baby, I love you type shit. You see what I'm saying? You know, it's crazy I had to use that example, but it's, it's that type of shit. Like, Zoo wanna say all the, you know, he wanna be a part of this shit, cause it's crazy, bro. Dirk got his camp and Zoo got his camp. So it's like, you know, like Zoo in the middle. It's like he OTF, or he was OTF. So at one point, Zoo was OTF and THF. Right now, it's looking like his ass is THF, though. I ain't gonna lie to you, bro. Like, shit. But it's like, whole time, folding them. He still, like, after he talk his shit or after his homies and them talk their shit or whatever, after he bite the hand that feed him, he still want to, God damn it, you know, he still want that hand to feed him type shit. You know what I'm saying? He still want to, God damn it, you know, still be like, nah, Dirk, you my brother type shit after he did some fool shit. And after the people around him did some fool shit, he still want to, you know, and I ain't even going to lie, bro. The shit been going on for years between Dirk and Zoo. Like, a lot of shit went under wraps. If you're not tapped in, you ain't going to know about it. But a lot of shit done went on between Zoo and Dirk. Like, it was one stint where Zoo ass was in jail. And the whole time he was in jail, he was talking about what he going to do to Dirk when he get out. How he going to, you know what I'm saying, put the bats on him, all the type of shit, you know. And then, you know, once he get out, you know, it was all love. He saw Zoo back around Dirk and shit again like that again so the whole time you know i ain't gonna lie like zoo that's some narcissistic shit that's some goddamn it like he that's some bipolar shit it's like I, I fuck with you then i don't fuck with you i love you then i don't love you type shit you know what i'm saying some real bipolar shit and it's like and i like i said this shit been going on for years so you know dirk might be to the point where like he's sick of that shit like all right bro Yo ass been doing this hot and cold. It's some hot and cold shit. You hot, then you cold. You hot, then you cold. You know what I'm saying? It's like you been, Dirk probably be on some shit like, bro, you been doing this hot, cold shit for years. You know? That's probably why you ain't been seeing Zoo around Dirk. That's probably why his ass back in the rack. That's probably why he allowing his homies to, you know, say shit towards for them. Because it's like, look, bro, you the head honcho of THF. So it's like, if the word was, nah, we fuck with Dirk, you know, I fuck with Dirk heavy, God damn it, don't nobody say nothing about him type shit. If that was the word, you know what I'm saying, a month y'all circle, Lil Law wouldn't feel comfortable saying the shit that he's saying. He over here talking about, you know what I'm saying, I'm harboring rats with the nine situation. Now Buka got to come out and say, you know, four them that's this and nine, they some whole ass niggas, you know what I'm saying? Now you see what I'm saying? Now it's like a back and forth between Buka and Law, but whole time Buka just responded to what Law said. But if you, if the word was in y'all circle that Dirk, my man, he a real nigga, he did this, did all this shit for me. Goddamn it, Law wouldn't even a uh, said no shit like that. So I know it's like you whole basically long story short. While I'm not around, you supposed to be protecting my name. If you my homie, you, like if you one of my people, that's a part of my shit. Whole time. Just off the fact that Law is saying this shit, you not protecting my name on my son. Like, you ain't protecting my shit. Like, you know, that's just like if somebody in OTF come out and be like, man, Zoo ass, walky as hell, dude, that's a goofy. You see what I'm And then whole time, you will get to looking at me like, damn, Dirk, 
what's up with your homie? You know what I'm saying? His ass over here woofing about me and shit like that. You know, so yeah, man, zoo ass like shit. As much of a, you know, as much as the word out that Zoo a real street nigga, which he is, I ain't gonna lie, Zoo got some ways about him where it seemed like, you know, his ass, like, on some soft shit almost, you know, because it's like, why the fuck would you allow your homies to woof about Dirk, but then you still want to be cool with him, like, you want to post pictures like no nah, that's fake news and god damn it you got a little dirk song playing playing in the background and shit whole time it's like shit stand on the fuck this is how you coming like stand on how you coming don't try to play my song in the background brothers about how much motherfuckers love their brothers if niggas love their brothers and how you like you playing that song why the fuck is you letting this nigga little law say all this goof ass shit about me harboring rats if it's all brothers and motherfuckers love their brothers why the hell you ain't check Lil Law and tell him to take that shit down if I'm your brother? You see what I'm saying? Whole time, bro, like shit. My homie Buka had to come out and get on get on his ass about that shit. Like, yeah, you know what I'm saying? Dude, whoever out there speaking bad on nine, y'all some hoes and shit, you know? So it's like, stand on what you saying. Don't be on no soft shit now. Motherfucking post a song talking about how motherfuckers love their brothers. That's what I mean by soft when I say the shit. Like, yeah, the word is that Zoo is real street nigga. And the whole time he is, but he be having ways about him. Like, like he be ducking his shit. He don't want to make it seem like it, but he is. It's like, if God damn it. If we was brothers, you wouldn't have let Lil Law say this shit about me. You let Lil Law say all this goof ass shit about me. And you always over there on your goddamn uh, story sneak dissing. Like you posting that Black Youngster song talking about you done let shout off for other niggas because other niggas were scared. Who you talking about, me? Like, so, I uh, you my muscle. I'm the goddamn, I'm the bag. So, I uh, you, like, let's say you did some, whatever you did, you know, and uh, on behalf of me and shit like that. So what's, what's that black youngster shit for me type shit? Like, I, right, you trying to say I'm scared because I'm the nigga with the money and you the nigga, you the muscle and you out here doing the dirty work and shit. So, you know, like it was speculation when youngster dropped that shit that he was talking about Gotti. Like, I done let out shots for Gotti because Gotti ass was scared whole time. So I, right, if we was to relay who we is in the situation, you will be youngster and I'll be Gotti. So what you saying, you let off shots for me because I was scared. You see what I'm saying? So it's like, you want to do all this shit, then you on your shit talking about how you a sacrificial lamb. Then whole time, Lil Law, when the whole Vaughn shit was going on, Lil Law on some shit like, yeah, I don't trust him neither. Like, yeah, I sacrificed Vaughn. Now don't nobody don't trust me. Four them been throwing shots at me. His ass just threw another recent. So you ain't you ain't been protecting my name for years, all the way back to when the King Von sacrifice room was was going on. You letting four them like this supposed to be your shit. You supposed to run THF, right? So whole time, shorty, your homie Lil Law, he been woofing. All the way back to the King Von room. But now his ass woofing again. So I right, you still not protecting my shit. Whole time, you know, and then you on your shit. Talking about, yeah, I done did shit for a motherfucker because motherfuckers were scared. So the eye, right, that's directed towards me. You want some shit, you the muscle, you out here getting your hand dirty, and I'm here, you know, I'm the bag, so I'm not doing shit. So you saying I'm scared and shit. All right, then you on your shit talking about, oh yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm a sacrifice of lamb. So the whole time you fueling the King Bond rumors, just like Lil Low fueling the shit. It's like, Nah, bro, like, Fulton been hot and cold for years, and Fulton probably tired of that shit. Smirk, Smirk probably tired of that shit. That's why you see Zoo ass back in the rack versus him being with Dirk, like how Booney Mo is, like how Wook is. All the people that you still see with Dirk, them the people that's in good standards. The people that you don't see around Dirk, them folks, them, the, them is the people that's not in good standing right now. So it's like, you know, as much as Zoo want to come out on his page and be like, yeah, that's fake news, don't believe that shit, with a little Dirk song playing in the background talking about how motherfuckers love their brothers, it's like, nah, bro. It's like, you on some throwing rocks and hiding your hands type shit. Like, you on some shit like, I want to buck, but I still want to be a part of the team type shit. Ain't no bucking. 
ain't no bucking and still being a part of the team. Either you fall in line or you fall out of line. Either you get with the program or your ass not a part of the program. As simple as that. You know, zoo ass be one of special treatment. Like, no, nah, don't none of they ass buck the system. But whole time, shit, I'm finna, like, I'm, I'm zoo. You know what I'm saying? Like, shit. They ass just fall in line and get in, get with the program with whatever you got going on, dirt, but not me. Like, shit, I get with the program when I'm ready. I'm Big Ball Zoo. You shoot him, it's like he be wanting to be on that type of shit, but he still want to be a part of the team. And Dirk been dealing with the shit for years. That might be a play a part in why Zoo, you know what I'm saying, continue to do the shit. Because it's like Dirk still been kept, kept having this nigga around all the way up until, like, you know what I'm saying, to this day type shit. But not to this day, because, you know, phone the man's back in the rack, and, you know, Dirk out doing whatever he doing. But the whole time, it's like, you know, Zoo wanna be special, like no, I don't. Dirk Tom, Dirk set a program, but I ain't gotta follow that shit. Like Fulham uh, set the guidelines for this shit, but I ain't gotta like shit. I'm Zoo, I'm Big Ball Zoo whole time. Shit, my homies they can say shit. I don't, they dissing, they 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 coming at you, Dirk. That's just what it is. We the six, we four six, we THF. We ain't OTF. We OTF when we wanna be OTF. You see, like on some shit like that, and it's like you know. And it's like his ass will be hot and cold. One time, from one moment, he'll be letting Lil Law over here woof and say all this shit. He'll be on his story saying shit. But then he want to come back and be like, no, nah, Dirk, that's my brother. And it's like, I ain't going to lie. Like, if Dirk, this might be the right decision because that type of shit is like, is recipe for disaster. The only reason Dirk probably keeping them around for real is because of the shit that they done uh participated in together like you know what i'm saying you know the rumors of like you know what i'm saying drew being the muscle dirk damn now you know what i'm saying putting uh bread on motherfuckers head and zoo allegedly getting them up out the way i right, that's the only alleged reason why i feel like you know dirk would probably keep him around you know, because it's like, I right, we both got blood on our hands together. You know what I'm saying? So it's like we joint at the hip, do the blood on our hands. But I ain't going to lie like shit. For Zoo, he'll have to snitch, bro. He'll have to, God damn it. That's the only reason, bro, like Zoo, Dirk, like, I ain't going to lie, bro. With all this shit going on, all the weird ass shit, it'll be smart for Dirk to get Zoo ass away from him. The only reason it wouldn't be smart for Dirk to get Zoo away is the threat of Zoo snitching on the shit, but Zoo will have to snitch on himself too. And it's like, you know, I feel like Dirk probably don't realize that shit. Like, bro, ass not gonna send himself to jail, bro, just cause I don't wanna fuck with him no more. Like, his ass will be like the stupidest nigga in the world. Like, you finna go to jail for the rest of your life cause I don't wanna fuck with you. You finna send both of us to jail. You know, that'll be. Like Zoo satisfaction, like ah, right, you don't want to fuck me from the send your ass to jail. But Zoo, I feel like Zoo ain't gonna do that because he got to send both of them to jail. If you tell on Dirk, he telling on himself. So it's like that shit probably them finally registered to Dirk. Like ah, right, bro, you know, it don't matter that we both got blood on our hands. It's like shit. If I go to jail, you go to jail. If you go to jail, I go to jail. Like shit, you ain't gonna send yourself to jail. Like shit, just go shit. You got enough, I done gave you enough, God damn it, momentum in this shit. You don't need me no more. And then you doing all this goof ass shit. Your homie up there sneak dissing me. You woofing. You know what I'm saying? On your shit, talking about how I'm scared and all this shit. Like, nah, bro. You know, and Dirk sent his ass packing. So now there's been a lot of rumors speculating that his ass not a part of OTF no more. And I ain't gonna lie, bro. I feel like that shit damn near valid. Just off the fact, it's too much weird shit going on. Buka woofing that little law, look little law woofing that dirt. Buka woofing back at little law for woofing that dirt. Zoo on his shit posting cryptic shit. Dirk on his shit posting cryptic shit. Dirk on his shit like man, quit sneak dissing. God damn it, Zoo on his shit making it seem like nigga, I'm the muscle. This nigga Dirk scared. You see what I'm So it's like, it's a lot of weird, it's like an OTF, THF situation going on. And it's like, you know, at the end of the day, bro, like, shit, Dirk probably don't need that shit, bro. Like, at, the, like, at this point, you know, like, Fulham need to cut all loose ends. And it's like, due to the fact that Zoo, one of the people who be entertaining bullshit, is like, 
he a lot. He seemed like a liability, bro. Like more and more and more, bro. It's like he make himself look like a liability, bro. And it's like that's probably why his ass back in the rack, bro. So all the rumors of Zoo probably done got kicked out of OTF. That shit probably valid, bro. Like it's a strong chance that that shit valid, cause it's like. Like, niggas know what it is when motherfuckers get to sending shots on social media and shit like that. Like, that shit, like, that shit be the first sign before, goddamn it, motherfuckers go public with the shit. Like I said in my other video, bro, don't be surprised if you see the zoo, the whole THF, including the zoo, just sending shots at dirt on social media and songs, all that shit. And I said, and then I also said, don't be surprised if you see Dirk and OTF sending shots back. Like, all type of shit, bro. It's like shit, bro. At the end of the day, like, Zoo ass, he need to, uh, he got a, um, a boss complex. He got a, like a, he got a problem with authority. I ain't even just talking about law enforcement. I'm talking about any, he don't like nobody being over him. He like being number one. Zoo's the type of nigga who like to be number one, like by uh, by any means necessary, nigga. I'm the top dog, nigga. Like Vaughn had to keep telling that nigga to be quiet in his motherfucking 16 shot and visual interview. You know what I'm saying? Cause Zoo ass just, Shit, on some goddamn it, Bogart shit. Like, he on the phone, buying ass, telling his ass, like, Drew, I'm doing the interview, bro. Like, take that shit outside and some shit. But whole time, I feel like, bro, like, that's really the root of the problem. Drew need to be the number one nigga, bro. You know what I'm saying? That's, like, causing issues between him and Lil Durk. But the thing about Zoo is... After he try to buck the system and do say all the, his bullshit or say all the, do all his woofing and shit, his ass will come back and be on some shit like, nah, Dirk, my brother. You know what I'm saying? It's like, nah, bro, that shit ain't nobody going for that shit. And like, shit, you letting phone them over there saying I'm harboring rats, all type of shit. You over here woofing on your shit, talking how I'm scared. Not like, nah, bro. Ain't no brothers. Ain't no goddamn it playing my song in the back and how much we love you. Nah, bro, that shit dead, bro. You know? And I ain't gonna lie like shit. You know, at this point, everybody know Dirk ass a chess player. And if you just look at it from a chess point of view, like shit, Dirk don't need Zoo no more. He probably ain't need him. Uh, he probably stopped needing him years ago, but for whatever reason, he just kept him around. Probably due to the shit that I was speaking on earlier, like they both got blood on their hands the whole time. You know, if Zoo ever get mad enough to the point where he don't give a fuck if he go to jail, it's like that'll end up being Dirk downfall. Like, man, I'm about to send us, I'm, I'm finna send us both to jail type shit. You know, in an effort to get back, which would be dumb as hell, but it's like shit. People be doing stupid shit, bro. Like, people, the hatred be running deep between motherfuckers so deep sometimes like it's like you can't put nothing past a motherfucker but it's like i feel like Dirk <laughs> got to the point where he feel like all right bro he ain't gonna do that shit and then all this goof ass shit going on let me get dude ass away from me you know what i'm saying like his ass around here with this boss complex he don't understand like nigga you are motherfucking you are goddamn it you are un you are not the boss nigga I know it's a big boss doing your shit, but you ain't the boss, nigga. Like, your ass is an employee. You, you is, nigga, you is, you is, in a, you is not at the top of the motherfucking hierarchy, bro. You, like, you a few notches down, bro. You, you the muscle, bro. Like, you goddamn it. You the, you the nigga who do the dirty work and shit like that, bro. Like, all that big boss shit. You might have be the boss of uh, THF, but, nigga, I'm the boss of this OTF shit, nigga. I run this shit. You just a member. You know what I'm saying? And I feel like that shit, that shit was too, you know what I'm saying? Zoo ass don't, don't be respecting that shit sometime, bro. You know, maybe not, you know, like, in a motherfucker face, but, like, on social media and allowing his homies to just run wild and say crazy shit. It's like, like, in in that way, he don't be respecting Dirk authority. And it's like, shit, you know, his ass a liability, bro. Like, we can't, like, shit, I need this shit. Like, I got this shit set up to where everybody is, you know, falling in line. You the only motherfucker that keep, goddammit, 
Like, no, I ain't got, I'm big ball too. I ain't got to fall in line for you nothing, know, all this shit. And it's like, yeah, bro, you know. So if Dirk Smart here ignore all that, uh, Zoo putting, uh, if Dirk Smart here ignore he if Dirk Smart he would ignore all that shit that Zoo on as far as no I love you you my brother like if Dirk Smart he would ignore that shit and get the fuck around away from folding them and like Zoo just do his thing you got enough clout off folding them like shit Dirk just do his thing like shit he got other niggas to be the muscle he don't need you but like shit your service was well appreciated while you was around being the muscle like we appreciate that shit but shit shit I'm about to go my way and you go you go your way and like shit everybody just goddamn it just do their own thing bro cause at this point bro motherfuckers just sneak this in each other bro so it's like shit so yeah as far as zoo hopping on this shit like yeah that's fake news I don't know about all that bro I feel like this shit damn near valid, bro. Cause it's like you got Lil Law this and Dirk, Booga coming out this and Lil Law, Zoo on his shit, sneak this and Dirk calling them scared. Dirk on his shit telling niggas to quit sneak this, quit sneak this and just call my phone. Like motherfuckers, anybody with eyes can see this shit, bro. So it's like it's at this point it's just best for everybody to go their way, bro. But I don't think that shit fake news, bro. I think that shit valid, bro. Zoo ass back in Iraq. You don't see the nigga with Dirk. All the niggas you see around Dirk, but he, this you don't see this nigga with Dirk. You know, and all this sneak this and going on. So it's like, I don't think that shit fake news. I think Zoo just trying to control the narrative by saying that shit. I think that shit valid, bro. But now, we finna move on. Finna move on to the, uh, to the King Von brother situation. The King Von brother situation and Chief Q situation. But if y'all made it to this point, make sure y'all smash the like button, say what number y'all is, uh, drop location so we can shout out to where everybody from. God damn it. Even if y'all don't want to uh, comment and drop y'all location, God damn it, just make sure y'all smash the like button. If y'all like the fact that we pull up every day and talk our shit, and you know what I'm saying, if you ain't got to worry about one nigga, you can be like, all right, bro, don't nobody pull up on live and talk their shit today or drop a, I know that nigga going, you know what I'm saying? If you like the fact that you can count on us to bring y'all this shit every day, smash the like button, you know what I'm saying? And we going to continue to pull up every day and always give y'all something to tap into, right? whether y'all working, whether y'all at school, whether y'all out driving, going on a long trip, you need some shit to, you know what I'm saying, tap in with, you know, if y'all fuck with the fact, that shit, bro, just smash the like button, and this is gonna push us up in the rankings, and I'm gonna continue to bring y'all this shit, and we gonna keep this shit moving, like how we keeping this shit moving, but, uh, yeah, man. Definitely make sure y'all smash the like button, man. You ain't even gotta say what number you is in the comments, God damn it! But definitely smash the like button, man. We gonna keep dropping this shit. But uh, a lot of motherfuckers just probably think like, man, my one like don't mean nothing. Hell yeah, it do. Yo, one like mean everything on my son, bro. That shit move us up in the rankings. That shit keep us shit moving how it's supposed to be moving. But uh, so look, everybody know, you know what I'm saying? Some shit came out. Like, uh, Keith leaked a song. A song got leaked by Chief Keith. And it's like, it's a song called Avoid That Boy by Chief Keith. And the whole time that shit end up getting leaked. And you know, it's a, it's a King Von this. You know, goddamn it. Keith on that shit. Like, he said, that's the same nigga that my cousin used to choke. Uh, he say, mention to my cousin, nigga, rest in piss your bro. Hope your ass die out of town like your bro. So that shit, like, I ain't gonna lie, bro. He's talking to Boss Top and King Von on that shit, bro. Talking about to Boss Top, because Boss Top always mentioning his cousin, Blood Money. And he telling Boss Top, nigga, I hope your ass die out of town like your brother, King Von. You see what I'm saying? Everybody know Von died out of town. But, uh, so... Is, is, is making his rounds now. A lot of people starting to realize, you know, that uh, Sosa has some distant vine. So the whole time, King Von brother then came out and said on his story, like, nigga, I got, he basically told, he told, uh, he like, he basically said, he said, Chief Keith, I got some, I got something for your bitch ass. 
He put he tagged Chief Keith Sosa and he was like, I got something for your bitch ass. You see what I'm saying? And I ain't even gonna lie, bro. I don't know which brother, you know what I'm saying? Like Von Ass got uh siblings on his dad's side and his mom's side. I don't know which side of the uh family that like this brother is from the whole time. Nigga, you ain't gonna do shit to Sosa. Whoever the fuck you is, like, I don't know what you got going on. I mean, defend your brother, though. You know what I'm saying? Whatever. You know what I'm saying? Like, that's your brother. But look, bro. Like, nigga, you ain't got enough money to get close to Sosa. You ain't got enough. Your homies are back though you behind this shit, bro. Like, you trying to. I mean, like I said, defend your brother. But, like, tread lightly, bro. Like, you dealing with a nigga who got a real bag that know all the people you know. So it's like, this nigga put a quick phone call into your best friend. The same shit I be saying about Dirk with the Puda and the Lamb Round situation. I be telling Puda, like, nigga, be smooth. Nigga, who you think you, them motherfuckers gonna choose when that bag in front of him? It's not like you and Lil Dirk don't know the same people. Dirk from the Lamb, you from the Lamb. Dirk rich, you not. You know all the same niggas. Dirk know all these same niggas. Nigga, if Dirk really wanted to, your ass would be R.I.P. right in that motherfucking wheelchair. You see what I'm saying? So it's like it's the same shit for, uh, you know, Von Brother and Keith. It's like all the niggas that Von Brother know, Keith know these same niggas. Von Brother is broke. Keith is rich. Like, nigga, like these niggas be crazy as hell. Uh, getting out they body with motherfuckers who can reach out and touch them. You know what I'm saying? It's not like this nigga don't know the same motherfuckers you know. Like, if he ain't know the same niggas you know, it'll be a little bit difficult for him to reach out and touch you. But the whole time, he know them niggas the same niggas you know. And he got the money to pay them niggas to, if, he, if he really wanted to. The reason a lot of niggas is alive is because niggas don't feel like getting their ass out the way. But if it was on some shit where a nigga, like, all right, I got I got time today type shit. If a nigga actually felt like you was a threat and motherfucker wanted to get you out the way, you would be out the picture, bro. Motherfucker get you clean out the picture, bro. So it's like, you know, like I said, bro, defend your brother, but just be careful, bro. You know what I'm saying? You calling motherfuckers bitches. Same with Puda. Puda calling Lil Dirk a bitch. I ain't gonna lie, bro. If Dirk really wanted to, put the ass to be dead. And you over, same with you over here. You call him Sosa a bitch. And I'm just telling you, bro, if Sosa really wanted to, he could have your ass dead. It don't matter how much you want him dead. You could, ne you could never do it. Unless you, like, you can't get close to this nigga. You don't got enough money. You probably don't even got no money to fly out to L.A. Where this nigga at? This nigga have somebody that's already over there with you. Don't even have to come to Chicago. And yo ass, it'll be rest in peace, King Von Brother. Like, just off of, you know, you coming out your mouth calling motherfuckers bitches and shit like that the whole time. It's like, you know, it is what it is. You know, you know, it's like motherfuckers was playing with Keith. It's not like Keith started this shit. Motherfuckers got on bullshit with him. His ass was just responded, you know. Like, motherfuckers act like, nah, Keith, you supposed to let niggas bitch you. It's like, nah, bro. Like, so sad, he humble as hell. Uh, humble to the point where niggas felt comfortable, like, the, like they could hold him and shit like that. And it's like, you know, everything was all all good when folk them being humble, but now when folk them respond, now it's a problem. You know what I'm saying? I'm really speaking to the fans as far as that shit. You as the brother, like I said, do what you got to do. Defend your brother. Just know it's potential consequences that come with that shit. You know what I'm saying? You going up against a millionaire. You broke going up against a millionaire. And this millionaire know your homies. Nigga, there ain't nothing to send a cash out until tell phone them like, all right, bro. You know what I'm saying? Go on here. You know, get dude ass up out the way. His ass tweaking. Get him up out the picture. And you are you already know I got you. Fuck them, your best friend to do that shit, bro. Niggas fucked up out here. Niggas ain't got no money. Niggas, you see what I'm saying? So it's like a month, like this back door sent headquarters. This the birth of the back door. You know what I'm saying? This the place. This the hometown of the back door, bro. Like ain't nobody your friend, nigga. That nigga you calling your best friend? 
he'll get your ass out of here for the right price. And Sosa got the price for his ass. So it's like, you know, defend your brother, but just know that there's potential consequences that come with that shit. Like, your ass will be rest in peace behind this shit, bro. But, um, no, nah, that's that on that shit. We finna move on to the boss top shit. If y'all made it to this point, make sure y'all smash the like button, man. Smash that motherfucker. Goddamn, we gonna keep bringing y'all this content. Your one, even your one like make the biggest difference. So, you know, shout out to everybody in the building. Definitely appreciate y'all, but... Uh, as far as this boss top situation, you know, boss top been in jail for a minute now. The whole time, one of brick homies, god damn it, you know, was on the same deck with boss top. And, you know, he told boss top, like, look, bro, yo ass, we got to fight, bro. Like, yo ass been dissing my homie brother, which is Duck. You know what I'm saying? You and your niggas got, and then, yo, y'all been dissing Duck and Brick. And y'all, uh, Y'all, resp- y'all homies in jail for killing Duck and Brick. You know what I'm saying? Y'all been dissing Duck and Brick and your homies in jail for killing Duck and Brick. So it's like, bro, we got to fight. You know what I'm saying? And then we can be on the same deck. But, you know, we can't be on the same deck until we get this fight up out the way. So, boom, the whole time they went up in the cell. From what I'm hearing, you know what I'm saying? Boss Top caught the short end of the stick. Like, his ass caught the uh, worst of the shit. Like, Four them end up patching Boss Top up. It's been a legend for years that Boss Top can't fight, so I'm not surprised. But, yeah, they saying he put the bats on Boss Top, beat him, and then they said they shook hands after that shit. And then four them say, like, all right, we can be on the same deck now. You know what I'm saying? We got that shit out the way. We wasn't going to be on, be able to be on the same deck if we ain't do that shit, bro. Like, we definitely had to get that shit out the way. Like, you know, y'all niggas always dissing brick and duck. And your homies in jail for killing both Brick and Duck. So we got to fight, bro. I can't be on the same deck with you knowing that I ain't put the bats on you when your homies in jail for killing my homie and his brother. Like, nah, we got to fight type shit. And, you know, shout out to Boss Top for uh, agreeing to the fade and shit like that, you know. Even though he got the uh, pause put on him, even though he ended up taking the L in the situation, he agreed to the shit. And it was said that, it's, it's being said that they, you know, dapped up after that shit. And God damn it, you know, now they able to be on the same deck without no problems. Now that that shit out the way. So shout out to Dude for standing on business and shout out to Boss Top for agreeing to go through with the shit and not being no, 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 bro, I ain't doing no fighting and all this lame ass shit, you know what I'm saying, so shout out to, shout out to both parties and shit like that, but no, nah, man, y'all already know what's going on, man, make sure y'all uh, follow me on IG at the official CSP1, make sure y'all mess with the Untold Story series, the link at the uh, top of the description, God damn it, make sure y'all join OTM, that's at the top two. Make sure y'all support the channel at dollar sign CSP OTM1. Uh, make sure y'all mess with my series CSP Go to War with Bloggers. I got two episodes out right now. Go click the links in the Patreon. If y'all like the intro music, y'all hear in the beginning, go in the description and click CSP Hits. If y'all like the background music that y'all hear in the video, go in the description and click DODA2. It's going to take you right to it. Run all them shits up. Mess with all the links in the description from top to bottom. Definitely make sure y'all go get y'all OTM merchandise. We OTM down right now, man. Go make sure y'all go get y'all shit. But if y'all don't do nothing that I asked y'all today after all the shit I asked y'all to do, just definitely make sure y'all smash that like button for me. Y'all already know what's going on. I love y'all. Shout out everybody keep putting up. Y'all already know what's going on, man. I brought some money, y'all. I be flexing when I'm drunk and shit. These bitches mad at me. They throw their phone, they be like, fuck this Smoking big granddaddy. Look for them overstuff my blood and shit. If I kidnap granny, you gon' be mad as motherfucker. Got the kickback addy. I come to strut this motherfucker. Bad bitch red tatted and hit the black as motherfucker.
brought some money out, I be flexing when I'm drunk and shit. These bitches mad at me, they throw their phone, they be like, fuck this. Smoking big granddaddy, little phone, them overstuff my blood and 